Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jeremy and welcome to the String Showdown, where today we're gonna explore the tonal differences between Elixir's Nano Web Coding and Elixir's Poly Web Coding on their 8020 string sets. Both sets will be custom lights for their gauge sizes and I'll be using my Taylor 812 CE for the demonstration. Now, let me clarify what the name of these guitar strings actually mean because it was something I myself had to research. The 8020 bronze name is a bit misleading because these strings, which are 80% copper and 20% zinc, are actually brass. Brass, by definition, is a mixture of copper and zinc. Bronze, on the other hand, is an alloy also containing copper, but instead of zinc, it has tin. The wire that lives underneath the wrap is made of steel. Now, I mic'd all of these examples the exact same way with a stereo space pair of Mic Tech C5 cardio condenser mics pointed at the 12th fret. I didn't add any EQ or compression, but I did adjust the volume of each clip so that they're close to volume relative to each other. As we all know, louder things sound better, and I didn't want that to influence the actual characteristics of the timbre of the strings I had in one clip versus the other. Okay, now let's get back to some more examples. I'll check back in later with my final thoughts. Throw in a good set of headphones, let's do this.
Okay, that was pretty interesting because I actually didn't think that there would be much of a difference at all between the strings. I knew going into the video that both sets were going to have different types of coding, but I was unsure that this was going to actually affect the sound of the string themselves. To me, the Nano Web strings were crisper and brighter, and the Poly Web were a bit more subdued, maybe richer and warmer. Uh, since they're made from the same materials, I'm assuming the tonal characteristics rely on the thickness of the coating. All in all, both sets felt good, but the Nano Webs are. They're still my favorite. Some people don't like a coated string, but honestly, I'm a big fan of them. I think a coated string can sound great and prevent squeaks, so bonus points. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video. As always, be sure to hit that thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment if you have any questions or insight on how these strings sounded to your ear. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more Guitar String Showdown videos. I'll see you next time.